going to make a video here today on belt tension adjustment on some vehicles. Uh, this particular one is a Honda uh, van. Uh, a lot of Accords, older Accords, have the same scheme for adjusting belt tension. And the reason I have the alternator off the vehicle is I want to show an issue that I ran into and I could see this being a problem that other people might run into also. So here's basically what we have. The alternator is mounted to the engine on this bracket. There's a through bolt that goes between the alternator here and the bracket. The alternator pivots on that bracket and the tension adjustment is down here and the reason I have this off and I want to show this now is is you can see that this bolt that my finger is on here is actually broken and that's what I ran into this is an older vehicle and like anything else this has been on here for years and you can see that the head of the bolt over here is broken off now this is how this works put this back in place here this alternator when it's mounted to the engine as I say there's a through bolt that goes here that's where it pivots the adjustment for the tension is down here and I'm going to show this in a couple of minutes when I mount this back on the engine but this bolt comes through here and pivots the alternator back and forth and that's where the tension adjustment is made now as we turn this bolt here counterclockwise it decreases the tension now I'm going to put this back on the engine and see if it will make it a little easier to show what I'm talking about here I want to mention also that a lot of vehicles have a spring-loaded tensioner for adjusting the tension on alternator belts. So if uh, hopefully you have a manual for your vehicle, consult that and it will be a lot easier because it's just a matter of uh, taking a uh, wrench, adjusting, pulling on the tensioner and the belt will slip off so you're not into the bolts and uh, adjustments that we're talking about here. So here's the adjustment bolt I'm going to replace. This portion here goes through our slotted bracket and on the other side it's going to be our nut to secure that to this bracket and this is the adjustment portion I was talking about here. As we turn this clockwise in, or looking at it from the front which we'll be looking at in a couple of minutes, that will pull this part here which will be in the slotted bracket and put more tension on the belt. So looking at the alternator mounting bracket from above the engine I've got it mounted in there now. Here's our bracket. There's uh, three I believe they were 14 millimeter bolts holding this to the to the uh, engine and I'm just going to turn the camera here a little bit and there's our slotted portion of that bracket for the adjustment and the reason I've done this video is because when I ran into this broken bolt I thought you know this would really be confusing if you didn't know what you were dealing with down below here because you can't see it and also if you happen to be wondering while I'm why I did all this it's because the air conditioning compressor down here was defective and I'm actually I'll be uploading a video on on uh, that in the future. So I had to replace this and this mounting bracket and everything had to come out in order to access the uh, air compressor motor. And this is the way the adjustment bolt is going to look in place. The nut for adjusting it out here by where my finger is. You can see as I turn that it threads through that rounded head on this bolt here 
and this portion here is going to be through the bracket on the bottom of the alternator so it'll be going through the hole in the bottom of the alternator now I actually can't put this in place I'll have to put this through the alternator first then put it the alternator down in place and then thread this nut on to in place then but I just wanted to show now because once I put the alternator on we won't be able to see this so I'm going to drop the alternator down into place there's the lower pivoting bolt hole there and you can see I have our bolt in place down here so I'm gonna push this out get my alternator in place and then push this bolt through that bottom hole on the bottom of the altar. So, I have the top of the alternator. I just tapped it into place lightly with a hammer just to get it on the bracket. And then I'm just going to put a small screwdriver through there and just kind of line that bracket up until I can get my through bolt in there, mate it up to this side and thread it on. And sometimes a good way to line up something like this is I have this bar. I just place the bar in between the bracket and the alternator, move that around a little bit and you can see there that the through bolt slid in. So the through bolt is through the alternator out here. I'm not going to tighten that up yet because I want to be able to move this alternator in order to get that bottom bolt on. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to videotape this part but there's my bolt. I'm going to take it down, feel around with my fingers till I feel that uh, grooved slider that this fits into. And I'm going to keep in mind that I want the threaded hole there facing kind of forward as we saw before so that uh, my nut, my adjustment nut will, will uh, screw through from the front of that bracket on the uh, bottom portion. I have removed the through bolt here. I'm going for plan B. I'm going to try to line up our bolt here from the bottom. It's really hard to get your hands under the alternator and into the groove there. So we'll try that. So lining the alternator up and putting that bolt on the bottom worked uh, much better for me. So now I'm going to put that adjustment bolt through the front of it down below and then the through bolt here. So the adjustment bolt is in place. I screwed it into that bottom uh, nut we were talking about and now I'll put the lock nut in on the bottom of the alternator on that bracket. So the bottom lock nut over on this side of the alternator is now in place down below the through bolt in. I'm going to start tightening things up just just snug for the I'll uh, adjust things up and then tighten them up and I've just uh, put the uh, alternator belt laid that into place on the pulley. So I have the through bolt here tightened enough so that I with a bit of strain I can actually move the alternator. So now I'm going to tighten up my adjustments down below. That 12 millimeter nut at the bottom of the alternator is in a really difficult spot to get to. I actually had to uh, go out and buy a stubby uh, 3 8 inch extension for my uh, wrench to get to that. So now that I have that lower lock nut uh, tightened on the slotted bracket down below and I have the through bolt here with a little bit of tightness on it so that the alternator can still pivot I'm going to grab the alternator and just pull it up. Tighten up the tension on that on the pulley here and now I'm going to do my finer adjustment with our where is it at here with our nut that's on the bracket down below here. 
So at this point the through bolt is tightened not fully tightened, almost, just enough so that I'm not going to, so that there'll be a little bit of movement here. I have my 10 millimeter socket down below on the adjustment bolt. And start turning it. This belt right now is really loose, hopefully you can see that. And I'll start tightening up the adjustment bolt. And this is what we were talking about. It's on the the adjustment bolt is pulling that nut down below on the slotted bracket. And it'll start putting in tension on that belt. So I was tightening up with our adjustment bolt, and then it kind of came to a point as it uh, the stress on that adjustment bolt increased, the belt wouldn't tighten up anymore. So I have now tightened up our top through bolt and our bottom bolt on the alternator and continue tightening up that adjustment bolt and hopefully you can see that the tension on the belt is getting a lot more now. I tried to piece, take a bit of uh, white out and mark on the pulley here so you could see that, but it didn't actually work. So, not sure if you can see that belt tightening up, but it is. Get the light there. So, that's starting to get a lot tighter there now. So, my 10 millimeter adjustment bolt down there is about as far as I want to go with that. The tension on the belt is approximately correct there. I might run the vehicle a little bit once I put the power steering pump and that on. I'm going to stand back and watch that and uh, double check it for adjustment. But uh, hopefully, you won't run into a broken bolt on that bracket for adjusting alternator tension but if you do hopefully that will help. So this job is complete. It started as a task to change the air conditioning compressor. I ran into a broken bolt on the uh, alternator adjustment. Anyway everything seems to be working fine here. I put uh, some new belts on it while I was at it and that's it for this job.